All right, welcome. Here we are at the Gateway Show with myself, Nick Catalano, Brendan Thompson, and Joey Catalano, and we are here with Michelle Apati, the founder of Train Me. So, Michelle, we know you, we've known you for a while, but the viewers aren't too familiar with you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. So, I was born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, by two immigrants, um, and they relocated here from Romania. They did the whole boat thing. Um, been living here ever since 1983. A couple of years later, had me, um, and so ever since, I guess, um, I have two amazing parents and truly what inspired me to take things to the next level because they initially came here for the American dream, right? Um, so they did what they could, um, and now I'm here taking it an extra step up and reaching different levels and I guess phasing and working into the entrepreneurship role. So awesome. would you say that's where you get most of your work out there from your parents? Absolutely. Yeah. They are one of like the hardest people, hardest working people that I know. Um, and it truly has inspired me and that's what I implement in the back of my head is just keep working at it. If they can do it, you can do it and you have all the access. In America, you have the wind blowing in your favor, right? Yeah, so, absolutely, for sure, it's amazing. Definitely. So, as far as trade me and cooking, where does your passion for cooking come from? Um, I think, I mean, that's really, I would say, like a tough question to answer. Um, but I guess in the most simplest form that I can think, it's always been around me whether I realized it as a young child, um, but I, I'm realizing it now, it's passion. Like, it's not something that I wake up and like, oh, I have to cook breakfast. I'm more so exactly. like, wow, I can't wait to cook breakfast. And not only for myself, but for my family, now expanding to other people. Right. So. Isn't that awesome when you find that passion too? That, that something that, you know, obviously all, each of us have found like our passion in film. And, but when you find that and you're really like, Oh, this is it. Like, it yeah. just feels amazing. It's like I crushed yes. that. Yeah, yeah exactly. it's like something to wake up to. Because not everybody yeah. gets that. You know what I mean? Not everybody in life is able to really, like, find that in life. Like, they, they, yeah. don't, they don't realize, like, oh, I'm not doing what I actually like. Like, I go to a job, like, where I absolutely resent going to every day. Yeah, I'm a zombie. And, yeah, <laughs> and the fact that you're able to, like, find that. I mean, it's inspiring because, absolutely. yeah, I just think it's awesome when people are able to. And really everyone is, but not everybody does. That's a thing. For sure. And yeah, just like you said, I think it just takes that first step. Like a lot of us probably have those thoughts um, as kids. Like I want to be this, I want to be that. And you truly have all the power to do that. It's just... Yeah, it just takes pursuing it yeah. and yeah. figuring it out for yourself. Jumping off that ledge. Yeah. Well, hi, baby. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> just got to be like brave enough to do that shit. Yeah. And like not listening to... The rest of the world is like there's gonna be a bunch of people like, well, who do you know who's done that? Yeah. Like who's, you're not gonna be able to do that. But like the only people are like, sam like they have a, such a small sample group of like the 50 people they know, and maybe the 50 people they know haven't done anything except like work a regular job. So then they think they're being like common sense. Yeah. But really. There's seven million motherfuckers on the whole planet. <laughs> yeah, expanding your horizon of people. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, yeah, it's, man, I'll tell you what, like, there was, when I was uh, in acting class when I was 18, like, there was one instance, like, where I can pinpoint it to where I, I was like, oh, I, f I love this. You know what I mean? Like, I fucking love this. Like, I just fell in love with acting, and, and I realized, like, I'm going to do that for the rest of my life. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's just... And then you bring your own game to it, you know? Like, yeah. I'm sure you have role models and people that you would, I guess, like, aspire to be like, but, and you can. You take different characteristics of people, just like with my parents. I take their hard work. You could take, I don't know, an acting, like, I don't know, who who's your favorite, like, favorite actor? actor? I, got, I got a couple of favorite actors. Um, but, like, my favorite actors also are, like, there, I mean, some of them are like typical, like people would say, but then like others are like, somebody's like, 
like I tell them, people are like, wow, like what? But I mean, I don't think I have like one particular favorite actor. Right. Um, but I really do like John C. Riley. Like he's like I've always I always thought like he was like one. Of, he's really been one of my favorite actors for the reason that like this guy can do like his range. He, he's such like a broad range. He's like underrated because he does like comedy, yes, which I cool. also enjoy doing. Yeah. And then he does like on the other like opposite spectrum like these like really great dramas like Magnolia with Paul Thomas Anderson where it's like whoa he's doing like some art film now you know what I mean so yeah, yeah he's always been one of my favorite actors but uh, do you have any favorite chefs I was wondering that too like like what about like, <laughs> Chef Ramsay or like, you know like so I so truthfully like I never got inspired by like any sh particular chefs um, sometimes when I get stuck on like a recipe which isn't like often but the more I'm cooking and the more I'm trying to find different like meals and how to make them fun, especially healthy meals, because that's the whole purpose of this is trying to feed you healthy food. Um, I am starting to look up different chefs and become familiar with them. So Chef Gordon Ramsay is obviously known by many. Right. Um, so I do look up some of his meals, but honestly, the most inspiring like chef to me without her even having that title, would be my mom. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Um, yeah. She used to host like a ton of parties growing up, so that's another reason why I think, like I always said, that it's been always around. You. Around, yeah. She was always cooking. She never really had um, like a nine to five job or a job where she went. She never left the house, you know. Yeah. So she was always cooking, whether it was for me, for my father, for like different events. Yeah. Um, and we, we would go back to Romania f um, for visitation, for any vacation that we were taking. Um, same thing, a bunch of women would get together, cook, and it would be just a whole feast. Like, oh, so it would make me hungry. So did mom pass down any secret recipes to you? She did, just yeah, most recently. Sure. Um, since I am taking this fully um, on, I'm, I quit every single job where it was like taking me away from my house or away from uh, just family. Because I yeah. think jobs do that in general. They keep you so busy and you're so consumed in them that you don't have time to really focus on yourself or family. So now that we've had more time and I'm inquiring, and she gets aggravated from time to time. She's like, why do you want to know all this stuff? Because I do. <laughs> There's a purpose to all this. Um, so she has passed down uh, the stuffed cabbage, which growing up, all of my friends would not even come to hang out with me. They would come to hang out with my mom. They're like, what is she cooking? Yeah. 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 So what's for dinner? <laughs> yeah. um, so stuffed cabbage um, and a bunch of different like Romanian cuisines. So. That's awesome. Amazing. Yeah, when you think about that, like, I mean, really, your mom would be like, you know, if, if like your mom cooks, like my mom cooked as well, and, and really, yeah, like you think about, it, like, yeah, why wouldn't that be the chef that you looked up to? And you grew up eating the food and stuff, and like my mom, I keep telling her, like, mom, you gotta make me a cookbook, you know what yeah. I mean, like, so I can make some of the recipes, like, you know what I mean? Right. Are you? Do you ever think about like making your own cookbook, like? And, Eventually, yeah. Um, I am starting to like write these things down because we can't always rely on our memory. And there's some mm -hmm. things where I'm like, oh, okay, this needs a little bit of extra that. Um, but like the easiest way to find something is obviously if you do store it away in a book. Like how easy would it be to just be like, mom, where's your cookbook at? Instead of like, when's the certain like time that you have available for you to tell me like yeah, this recipe? Exactly. So yeah, yeah um, I would love to. That's another thing she says too, like. She's a, uh, cause I'll ask her like, well, she, you know, make a cookbook, and she's like, well, I don't necessarily have like a certain amount of ingredients that right. I put in something. There's no, like, you know what I mean? There's no they measurement they for not. it. They just go, and then they by taste, like they go. So is that a lot of what you do then? Definitely. Yeah. I think when I bring a measuring cup out in front of my mother, which she's just like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> she knows what it is, yeah. but like she's yeah. like, why do you need that? And I was like, I truly don't but if I'm scaling and I want to create a business I want to be able to tell my consumer because now everybody's all about how many carbs are that in that like yeah, yeah. how much is that and what am I getting for what I'm paying for so um, definitely learning all of that is um, just like a different way of cooking and 
something that she can't pass down to me so she can pass down the good secret like food and how she makes things now I have to make it into a business and then I add my own twist to it because That's awesome. so yeah. how so, do you decide like what recipes get shipped out like they make it into your trays um honestly everybody so not everybody but like people who do come over or like are engaged in what I'm doing which is mostly like friends or like other entrepreneurs they ask me the same question and I don't know like I don't know how to answer that because I just go like my menu is created probably a half hour before I post it and that involves me taking on my laptop getting in on word and switching things up so when I'm at the supermarket which is probably my freaking hangout spot it's like I'm always roaming so I'm always looking at different foods and me growing up like I never really was um I didn't grow up around I guess like unhealthy foods so when I do go to the market it's always in the like fruit and veggie section and then I want to be able to kind of like also advertise to males and not everybody is up on like the plant-based like diet which is what I eventually want to grow into but um, I guess when I'm there I'm roaming and I'm looking I'm like I could probably pair this with this and this sounds good to me so I hope it'll taste the same for somebody else yeah so like I don't know it's just I it, I'm creative in that aspect and I think that's how I truly like realize that like okay this gig is for you like this yeah. is and it's you know unique to you so it's yeah. like your own brand, so yeah. it's just what you like and people like it, they like it definitely. Yeah. I think it's uh it's pretty cool that you're doing that the plant you're trying to like evolve to like the plant based diet too. Yeah. I mean it, it is just it's just like the the healthiest that I've ever been. Like was not I was eating a plant based diet, I swear it was the healthiest I've ever been, the best shape I've ever been, like the best that I felt, just everything feels clean and then like I don't know why, but I just like, oh, I'll start eating. Wean off. You know what I mean? Yeah. You kind of like wean off of it. But yeah, definitely like the healthiest I've ever felt for sure with plant-based diet. Right. I think it's just like the majority of people are eating meat. So it's like when you're gathering, um, it's just like a social. Like yeah, you yeah. want to right. eat whatever somebody else is like, eating. Let's so. grab some burgers. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Grab well, some just, beers. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay. okay. It's yeah. still instilled like in our society to do that. I think that's what it is. Yeah. And uh, but if you think of it like from like a hunter gatherer aspect, like pe like we didn't have the access to that meat like all the time. No, so yeah. I don't think people are meant like, to necessarily once a week. Yeah, it's, 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 if that. You know yeah, what I mean? Kill, if yeah. that you and you and it Today lasts for so long, but you're not eating meat like as where we incorporate day. it into every yeah. day. Almost like every meal of the day. You would be the best hunter. Like, that's like ever. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like five times a day. Yeah. Yeah, I don't care. Like, cause yeah, that's just the, it's just how it is. Cause people are, you know, I do think like we're omnivores. Like we can eat, you know, that that meat when it's there, but it's just not, it's, you know, yeah, yeah, not to be. I don't think it's supposed to be a part of a regular diet. Yeah. I don't think it's supposed to go like all one way. Like, no, way. no, no. Just because, so. like, even how our teeth are shaped, they're yeah. shaped to like have a diversity of different shit. Well, yeah, and if you look to like our closest living relatives, like as far as like chimpanzees are our closest linked relatives mm -hmm. on the planet, so it's like they share the most DNA with us and they're omnivores. They eat, you know, like they'll eat a plant-based diet, but then they go on these hunts and they, they'll like track down like monkeys and eat monkeys and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I kind of look at it like that, like, you know, that kind of makes sense to me as well. Like you know what I mean? Taste, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I your guess body will like, tell you. It's like, up for debate, yeah. but it's like, yeah, but I think for sure, like, because if you look at like humans, like too, like I don't think we're like the, we're not the most like. I mean, we got our brains. That's what it is. But like, I mean, a squirrel could like fuck you up. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. like, I mean, we are like not built to like. Like take on other animals well, after stuff. years of being in society, but even we like don't yeah. have that, we don't have that anymore. built in yeah. in us anymore. Yeah. But we we always used our brains. Brain. Like, yeah. yeah. You do your thing, I'll do my thing. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, like some places in the world there are some humans still who, you know, like they'll handle animals no problem. Oh yeah, but they still do it with like primitive tools. And, you know yeah. what I mean? Like we have spirit. Like I'm saying, like 
we, like we don't have claws you know we, we don't have like we don't have big canines like a lot of you know, no. different animals we are pretty fragile yeah we're, losing, <laughs> we're like losing ours oh yeah for it sure it used to be more uh more pronounced probably yeah. Yeah, but as we evolve over time, I'm sure we're getting softer and softer. Processed food. Soft as baby shit. (laughs) (laughs) They say we're starting to lose our pinky toes eventually over time. Yeah. I mean, not we won't, but. They're just like. No, (laughs) they're just gonna (laughs) gonna fall off tomorrow. (laughs) No, you're telling me over time, like. Because we, we wear socks and shoes, we keep, we're like losing the use yeah, of our feet. No, that makes sense, yeah. yeah. So we're like losing like sense in our feet is what I was reading up on. We're not, we're truly not meant to like wear shoes. Yeah, we're so, supposed to be barefoot. Yeah, yeah, like I used to get made fun of as like, friends with come <laughs> over and they're like, put your shoes on when you go outside. I'm like, I'm not, yeah. it's fine. Oh, yeah. it's, good. it's like our friend Xavier, like we met him barefoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, yeah. like the no, first Dirty, what, three years? His ankles. <laughs> the yeah. first three years we know, he was just walking around right for barefoot. <laughs> yeah, so glass everywhere. Building those cows is up. That's the primitive man right there. <laughs> <laughs> <That's really laughs> <an example. laughs> no. Then he conformed to society. No. <laughs> See, I have, I've always worn, like, this, my, I got a problem with it because I've always worn, like, socks and shoes more. Like, I don't know why, like, but even as a kid, like, I would put them on. But now, like, I do know that now, and I try to, like, be more conscious of it, and, like, take, like, yeah. I'm like, all right, I can take my shoes off, you know what I mean? Like, you your circulation home, runs better. You're, you're sleeping, you should be sleeping with your shoes off. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I can't. I always do this. I'll run into my dreams. No, I don't, I definitely don't do that. Wait, so you run, run into your dreams. How do you decide on the name? Um, honestly, so I have a office upstairs and I was doing just a whole lot of thinking in general. I think more than I've ever done in my life. (laughs) 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 Um, not not specifically, but just that time period. I was like, what is it that I want to do? I was just at a stage where I was questioning every single thing. And once I found out that I wanted to do this and that I could do this, I could pursue it. And it's something that I would love to do. I just had quit a job that I was um, working four and a half years. um, And I think it shaped me to who I was becoming. And then once I built that confidence, left there, I locked myself up into my upstairs office. And I was like, I'm not leaving this room until I come up with a name. So I had just like sketching, like... I was sketching like what I wanted to do and then after that I just started coming up with names like trying to rhyme something mm-hmm. so try me sounds like try me right like try me and yeah. I was trying like to instill that into people's heads like try me try me like let's try it yeah. Yeah, and yeah. so try me I will try you and so that's kind of where that came from I that's just awesome. wrote it down nice. and I was like all right I'm out it's of this room and that dedicated to it yeah, yeah. it's awesome we just say it. We shout it out. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, are these words? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are these words? Yeah, yeah. 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 this is Oh, yeah. Call Yeah. Welcome to the company. Welcome <laughs> to, yeah. To, yeah. We celebrate. Oh, yeah. 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 God. Oh, champagne. Yeah. Um, so, as far as, like, like, back to what we were talking about as me, you might not get as much protein from vegetables. Like, how do you make up for protein? So, um, I think as I'm learning, because I, I didn't know so much about like the nutrition of food. I just know like veggies, fruit, and I've always like known that and can feel that because I can attest to it from like eating those foods. I am just more lively. I have like I feel better from eating those yeah. things. And protein, now that I'm learning, truly does come from plants. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's... animals are basically like the middleman. They're eating plants yeah, yeah. themselves, and that's how they get their nutrition, and that's how we get the protein from the animals, what I'm learning. Yeah, and a lot so, of people don't know that. That's, they don't. Yeah. That's funny that yeah, you said something, because I didn't know that until yeah, just no. like really recently. Yeah, I, didn't I didn't know that until like really recently. And uh, I have a friend who, he's a big hunter, like he'll go bow hunting, and and he only eats the meat that he'll like of the a kill that he'll get uh-huh. and then other than that he's completely like plant-based at it so like and he doesn't that's not a lot of meat really because like 
he might he gets a deer and then he gets like the venison from that but you know he but he's not eating it every meal have like once a week you know what i mean if that and then yeah. after like a certain time period he's eating more of the plant-based diet but then he was the one who talked he was telling me that he was like yeah but uh He's like proteins and everything, like you know what I mean. Like, like they're protein and a ton of stuff, and then you got like beans and stuff. So it's like really filled with proteins yeah. and yeah, it's in broccoli. Yeah, but it's like I guess the thing is we break down different stuff like in different ways, and the way we break down meat, like you get protein faster versus like broccoli. The cell walls are thicker. Yeah, but I guess like it depends on how you cook it too. True. Mm -hmm. Very very true. But yeah, like that should say a lot in itself yeah. from a hunter. Like right, that yeah, yeah, hunter. So yeah, yeah. That's exactly. a good source and it should change the way that people think. But then again, we have people that are more stubborn um, into like taking that, those facts in. Not just, right, just yeah. not open. Or you don't even know. Maybe that's something. They just want to yeah. stick to what they know how to yeah, like. They it's know. hard to make people change their mind about it's anything. True. Oh, yeah, so true. So true. For sure. But that's something that you can do now that you have this i mean you could spread like that awareness and that's what's cool about that you're able to do that i mean even just on this platform you're able to like tell everybody like, hey you know try yeah. some plants yeah. like yeah. It, this is this shit's good like it tastes good and it is you're still getting protein like, yeah you're still getting a lot protein. of protein yeah you're really so instead of like having that middle man that your body sometimes can't like break down as fast or digest because being like digesting and releasing some of these foods like is what's important what's keeping you light and what's keeping you energized like so if you are an athlete if you're older like it helps you in at any age in life and like with my parents too like my parents I mean they grew up around cows they grew up around pigs like those were their pets so they took care of them overseas and um, they're more so of like an all around type. They knew what their animal was eating also too. So um, over there, the cuisine is more so like everything. It's dairy, it's meat. But now that I am starting to um, cook these foods for them, I'm seeing like a change in their behavior and the way that just they live their day to day. They are a little bit more energized and coming from I guess like a hard worth ethic and them never giving up no matter they don't retire like they keep working right, yeah. Yeah, keep um, pushing. yeah so that's helped with like work too like they I see them like I don't know what they do all day long but <laughs> it's, it's working in some sort of like construction or any like yeah. gardening yeah. and that takes a lot out of you so sure. being able to cook for them and seeing like the progress of them not going in sooner or like taking breaks like it's like wow it must be something that they're doing differently and I'm like I'm feeding them I <laughs> live right next door to them so it's nice to be able to cook for them and see that change. That's, that's, yeah, that is cool. And and with uh, like your parents being immigrants, like I find that more like that work ethic and that like hard grind. Like, cause I have a really good friend named Gino. He's like he's ninety three years old, and uh, he, my dad like became friends with him. He was an, our neighbor, and he's, is he, he from comes Obama? from. He's from Lubonia. Italian. Yeah, Italian. Yep, Italian. I think I know him. You know him? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He lives like off six miles. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. My mom, so oh, I think yeah. immigrants just find immigrants. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like so he, true. I swear this dude works so hard. Like he doesn't stop. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it's funny. Like in just like the way they eat more, he eats like more natural. Like I mean, he'll eat meat and stuff, but he like eats meat from his like uh, sons owns a farm like he has a farm and runs it and they'll like eat like the chickens from there and mm -hmm. like you know and I mean that's the way to do it if you're gonna eat meat I feel like too because yeah. didn't he have like a giant garden he does yeah, every year that's where I yeah I, I get like a lot yeah I get a lot of inspiration from him for because I every year I grow my own garden so oh, like it's What's his name? Gino? Gino. Oh, yeah. Gino. 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 Connected. <laughs> and he speaks like really broken English. Like, yeah, okay. he's like, like when I first met him, like I could barely understand what he was saying. I was like, I was barely there. Like I was helping him chop one wood one day. He's like, Daddy, come on, man. Come on, you get him chopping like this. I'm, I'm just like, oh my God. I should not understand exactly it. what it was. I didn't but now, understand what he said. That's I funny. This gonna but now, like, after I spend more time around him, like, every time I, I go over there, like, I can hear... Like I understand them more. Yeah. And then you understand some of the like 
Italian too that he's speaking like quando you know he's saying when or like you know he says like stop this eat and he's saying start it you know what I mean like <laughs> like different things but he's got like this way of saying everything it's kind yeah. of cool. but yeah really cool man Gino that's funny what a spark was small world yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, <laughs> like yeah I would have never guessed that you would have known she knew exactly where he lived Maybe like, yeah I know <laughs> well, my mom like she's she's always told me about somebody like in Livonia that she like met and she was like you gotta go check out his like leeks and like check out his like onions and yep. all these different like products that he was growing oh, he's, and then was he's like a okay, master well, I'm not gonna be a weirdo like your mom just got by and little do you know you could imagine this guy ever it was always kind of like his vegetables and shit back over there. I was like, yeah. his tomatoes go yeah, like that's red. Yeah. Like, for oh sure. my gosh. Yeah, he grows, oh, like, he so grows so food like that. So I get inspiration from him too, like, because uh, I grow a garden every year. And I just like growing my own vegetables. Like, it's different. Like, when you grow your own food and, like, you're able to, like, just eat all the vegetables. I stop eating, like, as much vegetables from the store. And then you, you like, see the difference. Like, I can't eat tomatoes at, like, uh, like at restaurants. If you ever eat, like, tomatoes at restaurants, Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, it's like, it just tastes like pure water. It doesn't taste like a hair It's so, yeah, it's so different. I can't, like... Oh, her, oh those are so freaking good. Hair levels, man. Yeah. Yes. That reminds me of the show we watched where this guy was, like, importing illegal tomatoes. And it, like, illegal tomatoes? Oh, no. <laughs> no. Like, oh, army base. Yeah, Catch-22. <laughs> yeah. That's the best. And they were like, what are you yeah. bringing all these damn tomatoes? <laughs> He's like, sir, sir, just... Sir, he's, he's like, like trying to eat this dude. He's like trying to eat the truck at him. He puts olive oil on it. He puts olive oil on it. He's like, he's like, wait. He's like, wait. He's like, wait. Yeah. That is like, wait. 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 Yeah, that's it. It's just simplistic food. Yeah, yeah. And then you, yeah, and you feel so much better. I swear. You do, when you're eating healthier, like, you you can tell, like, that I'm mentally, like, physically, like, everything's working better. You know what I mean? You're in a better mood. Yeah, yeah, you're not jamming your body up with like breads and like just like yeah. processed shit. We have all this processed yeah. food that you're all eating though too. Stuff you just I mean, creating so much inflammation in your body. Yeah. Like it's a, you know what I mean. Pain, and then you have pains that you don't even know. Like and it's that can be gone from eating healthier. Like <laughs> yeah. minimal nutrition. Yeah. And then you eat it, and you're getting like less than what's yeah. already in it. Honestly, so now that I'm thinking, it's like I wonder if. Back in the day, the reason they didn't have like local hospitals or like they had doctors coming to the home because it, it was very rare that they needed these people, like these doctors, because people weren't getting as sick because yeah. they were they had farms. Yeah. The majority of people yeah, were buying from a farm. Yeah, and that's a uh, and farming has changed so like like in the United States, like it's changed like so, so much for <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all about that, and it's just mass all agriculture to where they're. They're doing all these things where now you got like Monsanto that has control of it, where they, I mean, they're completely like just doing everything to get it as quickly grown as possible. So they got like, and then you can't have like, so they're putting all this stuff in and they got these pesticides that are, and so it's like, but I mean, it's just hard. It's like, what do you, you know, where, how, how do we break away from that? And I think like what you're doing is probably is part of it, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's part of the, you're part of the solution, really. You know what I mean? What I'm doing, so like, I'm getting more into it. Obviously, it's the beginning. Um, and right in the middle of me starting this, I had to have surgery. So that put me out like a little bit. But I'm starting to to just self-educate. And I am like reading nutritional labels. And then I have my mom who can basically clone any freaking plant. Mm -hmm. So she used to smuggle like plants in her suitcases. So we would take all of our clothes from... I just remember like packing these clothes and we'd take them over and then I'm like, well, I packed the best shit to go to Romania. Now I'm coming back home with plants and roots and alcohol and all this stuff. I'm like, mom, what am I going to go to school with when we go back to school? Like whatever. So she's like, well, that's what school shopping is for. So she said, bring all the stuff that we have and I still have access to it, but I don't technically know how to plant these things. Um, so what I want to do eventually is have my own harvest and all the stuff where I know exactly what's in the food and that's plants and eventually if I can and I don't get in trouble when for it, can. When, <laughs> um, is have like 
goats for like goat milk or anything mm -hmm. like that for yeah. people that yeah. um and uh as far as like i understand too like as far as like goat milk like it's like a hundred times healthier than cow yeah. milk because if you think about it you have this like giant bovine mammal that goes from a calf and it blows up to like this huge animal so like guys are wondering like why do i have man tits and stuff you know what i mean like but really it's like yeah, uh, you're not supposed to be drinking all that milk, crap, you know what I mean? You and, know, uh, another thing about uh, goat's milk, it's like, I work for a milk company, so I'm not going to plug them, but, oh, um, so, like, when we brought cows to America, like, all the shit that Joey was talking about, the hormones we pump them full of and make them produce way more milk, they developed a secondary protein called the A1 protein. So the A1 protein is a protein that like gives people trouble with digestion and makes them think they're lactose intolerant, but they actually just have an adversity to that one protein. Oh, and goat's milk doesn't have that protein at all. Oh, that's so, awesome. Yeah, I didn't know that at all. That's a nice key. Yeah. Yeah. Goat's milk all around. Goat's milk, so there you go. Goat's milk! Well, I eat goat cheese and I love it. And people like, well, they'll be like, I you just don't see enough of it. Yeah, well, because people, like, when they hear it, it's so, you know, because it's, it's what we were talking about earlier, like, it's different, you know what I mean? So it's hard for people to get past it, like, go, cheer, nah, you know, like, but it's like, dude, it's good. Like, like I don't eat anything that really comes from an animal. I, I, yeah, me too, I, I really do. I just Probably because I watch Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but no, like, I, I watch Naked, people's... I watch Naked and Afraid, yeah, and that's, that's my, yeah. You're like, yeah. No, you eat whatever. Yeah, exactly. And that's <laughs> that's how And like shows yeah. like that also is like how you know, like, you know, we gotta eat you what you gotta eat at the mm -hmm. time. But that's how but then when you see them like if they could be utilizing like the plants more, like that's yeah. how that's they how have they sustain like, a lot very of very low because of plants. Yeah. They, the yeah. Right. But like the people who do, you see them like sustain longer because they're eating that until because like you see that, like some of them don't even get an animal. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So you go without eating. And they don't get water either. Except for the people that it's like, oh, look at this wild spinach right here I'm going to eat. And then they're, you know. Good. Yeah. The yeah, you know, water content goes up too. Yeah. Because when you eat, like when you eat protein and you don't have water to digest it, like you can't digest uh, meats at all. You have to have like a certain, I don't know the exact ratio, but it's a certain amount of water you have to eat per like gram of meat that you eat. That makes sense. Or you can't digest it. It was just sits there you don't absorb it. Fun. So if you guys are ever stranded, let me do Just Never from water. You just need to drink water all the time. That's for sure. Yeah. So, like, what setbacks have you faced in founding a company? Um, many. I mean, the fact that I'm basically like a one-man show is difficult in itself, so creating the menu, creating the whole like design of the menu, then changing it up every single week, which a lot of people were like, well, don't change it up so much. Like, and I was like, well, I want to because I'm also learning while I'm cooking. And if I can offer you something new where you're still ordering, it's still fresh, it's yeah. like different for you. Cause a lot of people get sick of like different, like you go to, I don't know, like salad one-on-one, like you're going to get sick of healthy salad foods you're gonna right. want yeah, something want else so i'm trying right. to keep it interesting so prepping cooking the food and then taking pictures of the food advertising it on like social media and deliver packaging it delivering it like all of that is a lot so like i think the setback that really um is like timing everything and making sure that i am starting enough in advance to either not be like five, 10 minutes late with delivery or anything like that. And people are people, like if you're good to people, they're gonna be good to you and okay with you. But as I'm growing and I start to scale, then you need to have that down. Like you need to run a good business yeah, and right. be accurate. So those are like my only setbacks and um, really measuring everything out where I'm not, I guess, so much, I don't know, I don't, so I you don't, don't have know. to like waste or right waste um which I don't because I have people in the community that I can either give the food to but yeah like making sure that I'm getting I'm also profiting it is a business yeah, right. yeah. well that's yeah and you're always gonna have like certain you know setbacks to ooh, to start to start off but once you work the kinks out you'll be able to you know you're like oh yeah you know I got this down 
I mean, and yeah. that's and we find that with our, you know, with our company from where we started, and you still like you're never gonna not have setbacks. But right. you, the most important thing is what you're doing. Like keep going with it and keep like looking for that solution, basically. Yeah. Right? And, Honestly, the setbacks are oops. really like my best friend because I want to be the best of the best. So the more that I can run into right now, I'd rather do it right now than later, because by that time I'm yeah. hoping to have a big clientele. Um, so and that would be no bring problem. it home. <laughs> but again, you're learning to be a problem solver, yeah. not just a person that like shit happens to. Right. right. Like, I would have kept it up, but like. Cause nobody has sympathy for that. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they'll be like, well, like, okay. <laughs> I mean, there's times where I have to like leave the kitchen or anything, and I walk out, and I'm like, I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. So just like getting myself back together, and then I say like a couple prayers, and honestly, go back and do it. And, like you have yeah. no reason not to. Like, right. Just working for yourself. Yes, yep. working for myself, and that's like. People say, I, so I always said this in my head when I was working for some, somebody that I, not just somebody, not that sp specific person, but just didn't want to work for anybody at all. Um, and I just kept saying, oh, that's going to be so much easier, this and that. And it's truly not. Like, working for myself <laughs> isn't because I'm my only motivation. Nobody's telling me, get up at 6 a.m., 7 a.m., I can hit the snooze button, right, so that's yeah. another so downfall. No where to clock in. Yeah. Wake up um, Let's get to it. But, yeah. I don't know what I was going to say. But the more you <laughs> persevere, the more you can expand, get some help. Yeah, that's one of my goals is yeah. to like work enough where I'm, in the beginning, just putting money right back into it. Like, mm -hmm. nothing. I mean, hopefully I can pay my... I, I can technically right now pay my bills with it, but at the same time, like, I don't want to lavish and live this lifestyle. It's not about me at the end of the day. It's about the people. Yeah, the people. <laughs> the people. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, what was I going to say? Especially because, you know, people don't always have access to these healthy recipes. And I know for me, like, just cooking is like a pain in the ass sometimes. <laughs> Uh, after you get time. home, you yeah. just don't feel like cooking sometimes. Yeah. No. So, yeah. And not that's something like sure this. The love of cooking like <laughs> you, that you have. You know, like sometimes you just don't feel like it. So something like this where it's healthy for you and it's prepared for you, you don't have to cook. It's, yeah. It's true. I mean, I used to feel that, like, coming home from work. Yeah, like if someone works all day. Yeah. And coming home, then you have to cook a whole meal. Yeah. takes time. You don't always yeah. feel like it. And that's when people start eating unhealthy because yeah, they're like, well, I just got to grab some. I'll yeah. grab, you know, some fast food on the way yeah. home. Yeah. Yeah. But if you have that option. That option. That you can trade me. Providing, yeah. To try to train me. To train me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, that's ultimately another reason why I was doing it because... Like, I would come home dead tired from work. I'm like, I'm not the only person that's coming home from work. And I know, like, food was a passion for me. And I was like, I don't feel like cooking. I was like, <laughs> so people hate this yeah, yeah, in exactly. general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really hate it. So, like, I I think I broke my can opener one night. And I, I like fast food. It's, like, the best thing. Like, I'd rather just have it, like, occasionally. It's, like, a, a cheat thing, like, every so often. Right. Um... So if I came home and like trying to open up a can of beans and it it should wasn't working in my favor, I'd get aggravated and be like, Yeah, I'm going to get this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just join the crowd. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We're gonna take a quick break. We gonna quick, eat? Quick commercial break. Uh, yeah, we can yeah. Do that. Well, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna review. We're gonna be right back we'll, to you. Get a word from our sponsors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're back after our... Right back, and we're going to try some of this food that Michelle has prepared for us. So what have you made for us? Okay, so it's my favorite food. It's hot dog. Um, it's plant-based Italian sausage. We have our buns there. They're like a brochet type of bun from France. And then we have all of our toppings here. Um, there's a little bit more than just ketchup, mustard, and onions. Your typical type of American hot dog, which is my favorite. But, okay, so here we have um, grilled onions, 
and green bell pepper. We have some pinto beans that I added like a barbecue sauce in that mixture. We have uh, raw onions and cherry tomatoes. We have avocado. We have um, a mustard. I, I mixed in three different types of mustards and I truly can't remember what types they are. But it's mustard and then with some like ginger seasoning on top, um, paprika, we have chili peppers, and then we have some charred um, red, yellow, and um, orange pepper. We have some like, uh, this is from overseas, but you don't have to actually use it. It's more of like a garnishment for decoration, yep. Um, we have a cashew, like French onion dip that you can add to it. And then we have our ketchup. And it, all of these ingredients are organic. Um, and then we have sangria here. Okay. Um, Do you have a bib to wipe my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I can one. We can uh, We can arrange. Yeah, <laughs> we can arrange for those matters. But yeah. Dig in. Awesome. So we have your I think here. I want to try like everything on that. Please. I know. Yeah. More than yeah. Yeah. So I think we're just going to go ahead and We're going to go ahead of here. delicious food and then enjoy it and yeah. just do it that. Oh shoot. And then we'll tell you about it. It's okay. Oh. Do we have pickles? Oh, we'll grab How many just, yeah, picture. just start with pepper. Here would be a good start. I'm going to grab this one. She went to France, guys, she does bugs. <laughs> that's, the type, that's the caliber of people we have on our podcast. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, watch your head there. Right. So if I put this um, on the table, will it get in any way if we want more? Or uh, should we just leave it off um, to the side? It it's fine. fine. Yeah, I don't know. We can good. find out as soon as we sit down. I can see it on here. Yeah. Okay, for our listeners, we're about to dig in here. Smash. I'm going to give you a close-up. Yeah. So 
I wish I had a movie. <laughs> Well, that's just, at the pink house, it'll, that house is way bigger, so if you guys ever needed, like, extra space, go for it. Yeah, we gotta talk about the pink house, too, um... Yeah, okay. Because it's pretty interesting. I've seen, seen you post on uh, Instagram. Joe, you gave him a close-up? I would be cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give yeah. him a little, uh... Show of what we got going on here. So no, you, you put everything on there. I put it. I agree. So my I two put I made mine like kind of. Because I'm afraid of missing out. Why so. didn't like, mix them in? <laughs> Yours looks like it's almost I'm mixed in. Missing out. Yeah, I tried to. But I kind of just topped them out on there. Looks a little better, but only thing I did put on is ketchup because I've. Uh, Don't like ketchup. No, I have <laughs> ketchup, and you know, I wanted to try this guac out. Nice. I felt like ketchup was cool. Doesn't really Should go. We... Hmm? Mm -hmm. No, we did not take a bite yet. We're going to wait for Michelle to Oh! Oh! I didn't, oh, oh! We didn't say the race. Play, play that back here. Alright, cut. Michelle, make more. <laughs> make more. Only for artistic purposes. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. The great thing about these trays is you could cheers with them, too. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 I was gonna get a picture of all of us. I forgot. Yeah, because that's how you do podcasts these days. Oh my! Nice. So we're cheers in here. Yes. So we cheers. cheers. Cheers to twenty twenty in the next decade. To Trey and, Trey and you and me. It's our row, baby. Gateway show. Gateway show. Ooh. Salute. Ah, fresh. Mm -hmm. Very fresh with that. And these guys took plates. <laughs> <laughs> I did not. It's okay, it looks. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's good. Oh, so I. Yeah, this is my first time trying this concoction on a hot dog. It was amazing. It looked good. This is probably not very fun to listen to, but... And this is plant-based? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Sorry, <laughs> listeners. This is plant-based hot dog. Mm. Or yes. Italian sausage, right? Yep. This mm. tastes exactly like a, just a regular Italian sausage. Right yeah. yeah. I've never had it. It's all about, yet. like, the spices. I think spices do it all for, like, vegan-based stuff. You can make it taste very, very similar. I'm just like impressed that they have like a meat like texture. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And. You wouldn't know the difference. Like, not all of like, I guess, um. Sorry. I'm we'll talking about it later. <laughs> <laughs> First of many meals with all business owners. <laughs> so many this is how the gateway show should always go. <laughs> I'm real. I'm I'm stuff real. Real. Just, just <laughs> That's it. I deliver. Let four listeners. <laughs> I mean, I like the show and they talk about cool stuff. Why do they gotta eat every episode? <laughs> we're gonna dig in. <laughs> Today we're interviewing a mortician, but first. <laughs> first. So you got any samples for us? <laughs> um, sure. You do know <laughs> my job, right? He doesn't watch <laughs> this. <laughs> you do know what I do. What do you say? I do. It's so brittle. funny. Mm. Um, that reminds me of like a story. When I was working at the dental office, um, we used to have to call these labs to pick up like our models so that they could fabricate. We were we weren't fabricating like crowns or anything like that in house. We would send them out to the lab. So one of the assistants, she was calling, and I don't know, she must have like transposed a number, and she ended up calling like a funeral home. Mm -hmm. 
and she didn't realize this, and they didn't like say, "Hi, this is so and so." She was just like, "Yeah, we have a, a pi- <laughs> we have a pickup. If you can just grab it tonight <laughs> at the dental office." They're like, "I'm sorry, where are you calling from?" They're like, "The dental office." She, she's like, and she's like, "So uh, you don't call us? Like, there's like a dead person in the dental chair?" And she's like, "What?" And she was so embarrassed, but that was like the funniest story ever. <laughs> Yeah, you don't, you wouldn't be called us. This is usually a middleman for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> so they're assistant and a burger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't even realize it. That's delicious, man. That was the best hot dog I think I've ever had. No exaggeration. Like, I've had Chicago dogs. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. tons of, like, Hot dogs, but dude, and hot dogs and Italian sauce and really growing is. up and just, I mean, great spice to that. Hot dog. Plus, like, taking care of every ingredient, like, this bun. Yeah. Like, because I usually love, I mean, like, a 99 set pack of bun. <laughs> right. <my> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one dip is, like, perfect. And you basically yeah. turn such a simple thing into a work of art. I mean, honestly, like, I'm serious. Like, that, that was. That was like the best. Like I bet. It's I can get used to eating those meals. Well, you can. Well, you can. <laughs> well, you yeah. tell the people how you can, by the way. Yeah. So how can how can we how can we if uh, get in contact and yeah, get some training? Get some. Um. So it's basically by text, call, email. Um, text, call, email. I'm on social media. I don't technically have any like business cards made. They're in the process, but word of mouth is how I like gotten all of my business and then just posting on social media and everybody reaches out most likely um through text or call nobody has emailed so far but that's open too and what can people like uh, follow you on for your social media yeah like your, your uh... mainly it's instagram so um i should be posting more on the others but i think instagram is the biggest like platform right now and then um i'm going to expand into like TikTok and all of that but right now Instagram, follow me there, or if you do message me on Facebook, like I, I do check all of my messages. And is the name, is it just Trey Me? Like, uh, it's, or... my, it's my personal that um, is linked with like a business, Trey, Trey Me. So if you follow my personal account, you're going to see the food there and you can order there. Okay. And you want to say the name of that? <laughs> I'm sorry. We the, can, uh, the name of your personal well, we can account. Put it, uh, put it yeah, we'll put, we'll put it on the screen. We'll put it on the screen. Yeah. We're going to put it on the screen. <laughs> It'll be it's going to come up. Bring it around now. It's just somewhere. Well done. Well done. I feel. I say we cheer, cheers again. Let's again. Hold on. I need some more water. I already threw my water already. Hold up. Hold up. There's even fruit. Wait a minute. Or sangria. There is. And it really Fresh makes sense. If you guys want to know, I don't drink anymore for the, uh, those of you. I'm right. But if you want to know the care yeah. that was put in our milk. Cheers. 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 There we go. Salud. Salud. <sighs> and you can just eat the fruit as soon as you finish. You yes. can. So. <laughs> <laughs> this really is probably. So I normally make like a red sangria. I haven't made white. This is good. This is my first time having it as well. Right, this is. Very good. Well, on behalf of Tyrell and the Gateway Show, Tyrell, Michelle, Patty, and Trey, me, thanks for joining us. We definitely had a good time. Oh yeah. And uh, <clears throat> that was great food. So I think you guys need to get on Trey me as soon as possible. And try it out. Michelle's cooking up in the kitchen all the time. Yeah. And if you haven't, uh, definitely follow uh, Tower Productions. It's just Tower Productions on Instagram. Or you can find us on uh, Facebook at Tower Productions. That's what we do. So, yeah. And, um, yeah. And, you know, we'll, we'll pop that on the screen, too. You know what? Yeah, and, you know what? We'll pop that on the screen. We can do it on the screen. Pop it. We're gonna get a pop. Oh, this is <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> super enjoyable.
involved. So thank you for having me. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So we look forward to having you guys. Awesome. Our very first guest of the Gateway Show. And, very first. Uh, that would be my last. Right? Sure. Isn't it? I mean, yeah. We I mean, technically. Technically. We haven't. No, yeah. it's just yeah. been the cast, so yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, first person outside of our production company, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> so come on to the other show. First person, really worthy. So we'll have to bring her back. <laughs> we'll have to bring her back in a little bit and check in on Tramie. Yeah, and we look forward to do that. To yeah. dropping more podcasts, checking in with you guys again. Follow Michelle because you need to be eating this food. Yep. Follow us and change your life. We're gonna make you laugh and then we're gonna do podcasts. And we're just trying to, yeah. We're no, we're going to try stuff. Bust the bold world we're here. You need to, you know, enjoy life and life. laugh and eat good food, right? Yes. All right. We'll have a better combination. Bye, Erica. Signing off. off. Thank you very oh, much. Don't you dare. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, America. And.